Hey friends, Catherine here. I am going to be doing a butterfly wing earring out of shrink plastic today. Um, I'm going to actually be doing a set of two, but you, I only really need to show you the making of one of them because the second one will be exactly the same. I drew up a butterfly wing and um, figured out the way that I wanted and got horrible pencil marks everywhere all over my paper, but that's all right. The paper's just a template anyway. And then I've got this shrink plastic that I am going to trace it onto. And the idea, my idea is sort of a purpley, pinky, bluey, um, all over uh, galaxy sort of butterfly wing, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to lay the shrink plastic over the template drawing that I did. And I'm going to just lay it rough side up because the shrink plastic has got a rough side and a smooth side and you want to be drawing on the rough side. So I'm going to lay it rough side up over the butterfly wing and trace it out in pencil. And for this, I'm just going to start off by tracing the outline. I don't need the full thing. I just need a rough outline of the wings for now because I'm going to be using watercolor pencil on this and now I've tried watercolor pencil on shrink plastic before and it did not work out um, but I've got an idea for a different approach to it this time Part, that's part of why we're not drawing in our central, uh, the cells inside of the wings or anything like that for now. We're just outlining it. There we go. And now let's start on our colors. I think I want to go start off with this imperial purple and just kind of do it in a swath sort of going up the wing like that just really coloring it in and sort of wherever and then do the same thing on the bottom side just coloring it in and sort of wherever Ooh, that's not a pleasant sound but there we go sort of in and around and then maybe some of this maroon tying back into that purple and around this way some and then same thing up the top one tying down into the purple and up around Kind of blending it together, but also giving it its own space. And then maybe some of this lighter blue, do you think? Or maybe like an orangey? Maybe like just a small bit of orange right in, right on the edge of that red. Just a tiny bit of orange there. Yeah. Ooh. I may not go to blue after all. These might turn out more fiery. Mm, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it works. See how it goes. And that's part of art, you guys. If you see something that you like part way through, change your plans. It doesn't have to go. Although... I do kind of like that blue now I'm putting it on there. It doesn't have to go as how you intended it to begin with. Let's put a nice big section of blue right down here toward the bottom of this top wing. And then do some around here and 
then maybe some dark blue. This is Prussian blue. And then maybe drop some of the purple back into the center on that. Yeah. I like that. I like how that turned out. Okay, now because we used watercolor pencils, we're going to take a brush and a bit of liquid. You can use water. I like using... Um, go. I like using... Uh, isopropyl alcohol. There we go. That's the word I was looking for, for goodness sakes. That did not come to me. I like using isopropyl alcohol, but you can use water. And then just kind of mix it around. Making sure to smooth out all of those pencil marks that we gave it. Get everything nice and even. And then just blend it together toward the outside or well down in the same progression that we did the colors in making sure to switch back and forth between the wings otherwise you'll just be carrying colors from one side to the other and that's not something you want to do although we are getting more colors so let's bring that let's draw that more towards the center there we go Needed a little bit more liquid. Go with that. Coming together. All right, and then into the blue. Use that line where it transitions to the blue really well. And then into that center and keep everything sort of gathered in the middle. But there we go. But, there we have it. One butterfly wing. And we want that to dry before we do our ink because I want to use microns as the ink on it and microns will run uh, if they come in contact with isopropyl alcohol. So I need the wing to be fully dry before I use the pens on it. And that's all right. We'll just cut it out while we're waiting for it to dry. There we go. Let's see, and then this needs to come in a little bit more, there we are, so that it's going to match the shape because we're going to want, well I'm going to want to do two of them because they're going to end up as earrings. And we want them to match, at least somewhat. Now for this part, it's going to be easiest to go from one side and go into the center as I'm cutting and then go in from the other side. 
go. Okay, then should pull away. Perfect. And oh, that's looking nice now that it's drying. I like the way that it looks when it's set flat on the table like that. What do you think? I like it. Okay. Then we're going to pull back over our wing template and set it on top of here again. And grab our microns and start outlining. So this is a number eight micron and it's a little difficult to see what I was doing for lines, but that's all right. I'll figure it out. Okay, and then this is how those kind of like this. It's a little hard to trace through the color, but I'll make it work. Okay, and then sort of like that. And like that. And like that. Okay. And then the other one, the other wing. All right, and it has this series of dots down here toward the bottom, and then it has cells like this. And originally I was thinking about coloring in these outside spaces with black, but now that I've got the color pencil on there, I don't think I want to do that. I think that that would cover up too much of the color pencil and I wouldn't get as much color coming through as I want. So I think I might just grab like a Sharpie and do like a outside edge on these. Yeah. Oop. Flipped over there. Okay, so just a sort of an outside edge on the top wing, and then on the bottom wing,
Okay. All right, and then there's a spot of line right up here where the ink didn't hit it or I didn't get it good enough or something, but there we have it. All right. Okay, and now for the fun part, to shrink it. Let's pull over a bit of tray to shrink it in. And a bit of skewer to hold it down with. Ooh, before we do before we shrink it though, we'll want to put a hole in it for hanging it from the earring. So I could hang it like this, or I could hang it from the top. I think I want to hang it from the center of the wings though. Although that is gonna be a little Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll hang it from the center of the wings. I could hang it from the top if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. I don't think I will. I want to hang it from the center. So let's put a hole. There we go. Hole punched with our hole punch. Now we've got a hole for hanging it from. Now let's shrink it. Haha, -ha, see, remember? I rem last time I did an earring, I did not remember to put a hole in it first, but I remembered this time. I'm getting better at this, you guys. Aha. Uh -huh. And you just give it a moment to start shrinking. Just give it, let it warm up first and There we go. And I could probably convince it to lie a little bit flatter, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I like this kind of ruffled look for the edges that it was given because we blew it out with the heat gun. Let's see if we can't slip it off of the skewer, though, because I kind of st stuck the skewer into it. And there we go. Oh, it's... I know I just said I liked that ruffle edged look and I wasn't going to flatten it, but then I did. Let's give it a second to cool and then we'll pull it up and flip it over and see how it ends up looking. That I kind of like. Let's see, is it cool yet? Not quite. Still bendy. There we go. All right. Oh. So you've got some slick spots where it's stuck down to the tray, but that's all right. And how am I not getting, there we go. That is what it ends up looking like. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer. 
don't want to cast shadow on it, but I want you to be able to see it. Here it is. That's what I did today, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to go ahead and do another one of these and then put them on some um, earrings and that's it. If you liked it, leave a like. I hope you did. If you want to see more things like this, definitely let me know. I am always into trying new things. And remember to subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye!